Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Cisco Kid and my beautiful wife. Kina, what's up, you guys? And welcome back to episode numero seis six, of our six, six. podcast, Don't Get Married. Um, we already introduced ourselves, and um, thank you guys for coming back. We appreciate, like always, all the love and support. If you haven't watched our previous episodes, we have some good ones currently out. The last episode was me announcing my movie role. That was exciting news, which is dropping in December 1st. December. We're going to continue promoting that and talking about that, which is very exciting. Oh, my God. How are you feeling? Thank, thank you so much, baby girl. <laughs> it's so good to have a good support system behind my back. Yeah. Which is you. Thank you. And um, you've been supporting. But I feel good, man. Uh, oh, the even jitters. though you didn't write back to me on that comment <laughs> where I was uplifting you and telling you you're amazing. I still didn't get a like or a comment, did I? I replied back. Oh, did you? So that's actually really good. <laughs> you know, it's um, it's actually really good. So um, what do you guys think? I need your opinion here because I, I'm kind of like stuck in between. And I, I know she's bothered. But anyway, so I posted a picture video what was it Do you remember? it was the movie announcement that we did a video it was a little reel that we did together announcing your movie and then i go and write this long lengthy message to you saying i'm so proud of you you should be you should be amazed and um just a crazy i can't remember exactly what i said let me think hold on <laughs> i said you can you pull should, it up you should be so proud of yourself yeah let me pull that up, actually. That'll be better if I just yes, read it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so what she's trying to say, she left me a comment. And I we did the I did a movie announcement on my Instagram account. And um, to give you some context, in that reel, I did say thank you to you. I did say thank you. I said thank you. I even said a nice message um, on that video um, in the comment section. Okay. So we post this video together, we do a reel, and we're pretty much announcing the video, right? Yeah. And then he does thank me. Yeah, he just says thank you. No, 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 no. no. I say to my wife, Sakina, who stood behind me and pushed me, you are the reason why we are here. That's in my, like, announcement, like... All the way at the bottom, mind you. You have to click more to get to that, so no one's going to read that, okay? All the way at the bottom, you have to click more. Anyways, so then I comment. I was like, as the day inches closer, it gets more and more surreal. You should be so proud of yourself of how far you've come and how much you've accomplished to many great things. Inshallah. Love you so much. And I see this fool because I'm tagged on this reel because, you yeah. know, I was in it. So it's a collaborative thing. So I see every time he's commenting back or liking things. And he's commenting a whole bunch of people back. Mind you, girls as well. Yeah. But forgot, it was respectful. forgot his wife. <laughs> forgot even a like. And I know my comment comes up as the top comment. There's like 500 <laughs> likes on that shit. I know you seen it. I did see it. I read it. I thought it was beautiful. It was very, very nice of you. Oh. I just oh. I just forgot to, not necessarily forgot to write back. I just didn't, you know, think to write back. I wasn't and... worth the write back. Apparently. No, no. I wasn't worth his time to write it back, to write anything back to me. Am not I wrong? Not even thank you, not even a like, nothing, just a I, like. But but I did acknowledge it when you wrote it. No, you didn't. I, no, I, you didn't. You no? Know? No, okay. you didn't. So am I wrong? Am I yes. wrong that like, is, is it, is it? I guess this is a good way to start this podcast. <laughs> is it wrong? Like you left the comment, you know I saw it in the in my picture. I said thank you to you, and I said something nice about you. And uh, am I wrong for not replying back? Do you? I mean, clearly you think I am. Had wrong. you not replied back to anyone else? Had you not liked anyone else's comments? No, you're not. That's fine. I look bad right now. Huh? You look extremely bad. Y'all roast him for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm in between because I kind of feel like, you know, I read it. No, I don't. How do I know that? Well, because you I just you said it. it. You're yeah, at the top. Sure so I, did. I did read it and, and me replying back to people. Um, 
I don't know. I, 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 you know. Yeah, there's no excuse for it. Anyways, there's not an excuse. Don't for even it. try to justify your actions because you' about <laughs> to get roasted on here, dude. Sh- get them for me, you damn, guys. Please. You're making me feel bad, but you're making me feel bad. But that's pretty. That's pretty good to start. But anyways, I we, am thankful for you. You are thankful. For yes, me? I am too, man. I, I apologize to- for not replying back to you. I went back and did reply back to you. Yeah, after I told you twice. I had to tell him twice, you guys. Two times. I didn't think it was that big of a deal to you. I didn't think I honestly did not think it was that big of a deal. It's cause see the thing with you, babe, is just that it's hard for me to Babe, shut up. Shut up. You don't damn what it was a big deal because the first time I said something about it, I said that hurt me. And it was a serious conversation. So shut up right now. You know what? I'll Let's talk to my therapist this week about <laughs> it, and let me see what she, you know, tells me. But um, anyways, it was. But it's Thanksgiving we are, week. We are thankful for each other. That goes we into our um topic of discussion of today because it's Thanksgiving week. I know everyone is at home with their kids, and God, I'm praying for each and every single one of you because this shit is hard. It is. <laughs> but we are thankful for our children, nonetheless. <laughs> you know, some people should do. They people should tell you like. Like, it's hard having kids. And I feel like I'd be saying this all the time, but it's just so hard. I feel like it's so hard right now, and we're in the thick of it. And 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 But we are thankful for our children, so let's not make it negative. Mm-mm. We are thankful for our children. I'm just, I'm just praying for each and every one of you guys. You're probably watching this on Thanksgiving Day, so we're thankful for you. We're hoping that you are having an amazing, I'm amazing time. I am eternally grateful for each and every one of you guys. I just want to say thank you. I love you guys. I know this probably should be at the end, but let's just start it off with the you guys. We love you guys, and we are extremely thankful for you. So You guys changed our lives, man, for sure, man. I appreciate you guys, too. I think you couldn't have said it any better. Um, And we'll, you know, switch on to... The topic, the of, topic today. of today, you know, it's Thanksgiving Day and, you know, we're just kind of sitting here and we we're going to go a different direction today. But we're like, hey, you know what? Let's put this out on Thanksgiving Day and um, let's let's have the topic of Thanksgiving. And I guess just to kind of get started, how is Thanksgiving for you? <laughs> like with me, like meaning like obviously I'm Hispanic, I'm Mexican, you're white. Yeah. How? To you, when you first, you know, kind of got with me, what was a big shock to you? What happened? Yes, what happened? Hey, we're recording. We're recording and I told you, remember? You have to stay over there. What happened? What's wrong? What do you need? We would love to hear your voice. What's wrong? Okay, uh, you're safe. We're right here. There's We're nothing right to be scared here. of. It was just a firework outside. When it's 4th of July, yes, we can. It's not 4th of July. Please go back, sit down. Thank you. Love you. Okay, pues. <clears throat> One, two... So, like, you obviously, I'm Hispanic. You're white. Um, what's what's different? If you could share that with you, with if you could share that with some of the people, like, what what was so different about how we celebrate Thanksgiving opposed to? I know you're Arabic, but try to like dig into, I guess, your white side of the family. If you guys ever celebrated it, yeah, we did Thanksgiving with our white side of the family for sure. And it was just nice because it was everyone was in good spirits. Yeah. And you knew you were gonna get some bomb ass food. Like like they be cooking all day for the food. All day. They start in the morning. Yeah. And we cook all day. Sometimes even the day before to prep like certain shit, right? Yeah. So that that type of food, like some of it you don't get except for what on kind Thanksgiving. Of <sighs> Do you like remember? What was something that you enjoyed? I just always remember there was some sort of meat, but we couldn't have it. I'm sure it was pork, some sort of pork that they spent hours and hours and hours cooking on it, right? Yeah. Um, The pies and the dessert, like my aunt would make, um, damn, I forget what it was called, Cherry Delight Mm. and pumpkin (laughs) pie. She would make all these things from scratch, apple pie, all from scratch. Dude, she was a baker, dude. I so, don't even know what's cherry delight. Can you? What's cherry delight? 
I honestly do not know what's it's cherry like, delight. It's almost like a cheesecake, like a whipped cheesecake. Yes. And then you put cherry pie filling on top. So it's a pie. And then in this so so it's pie, a pie crust. Yeah. Cherry delight pie. So it's okay. pie crust. She could have said that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so it's pie crust at the bottom, like a whipped cheesecake and the filling. Yeah. And then um, p- cherry pie filling on top. Yeah. Fire, fire, so, fire. So it's a pie. Bro. So, yes, a pie. It's okay, a so fire ass pie. They would make the dough from scratch, like the biscuit doughs yeah. from scratch. Fire. So you guys wouldn't, you guys wouldn't. In other words, you guys wouldn't. Your family wouldn't buy the pie from the store. No, no, no. Was everything like, was made from scratch. From Even scratch. the stuffing was made from scratch. Like everything. The stuffing for what? The you know the turkey you, stuffing. Yeah, the turkey stuffing, or you put it on the side as well. Okay, so that's kind of where I'm asking. Like, so okay, so there's there's this desserts. You did like what would describe like what kind of food you know what I mean like oh, I I think for I'm me sorry, it's I like got a sidetrack with the pie so yeah I, I, the I'm pies just were inter- from scratch mashed potatoes you have a whole bunch of sides um, green bean casserole some mac and cheese some bomb ass mac and cheese like I said the the biscuits were from scratch you get a cheese platter for appetizer um, what else dude. Obviously, we didn't we didn't eat pork, but they made a freaking pork. Yeah, we ate chicken, turkey, lamb chops. Like how many people? That sounds like a lot of food. It's just like a, a lot, lot of, of different food, food. But that's the thing. They start cooking early, and we start around lunchtime for Thanksgiving. Give me a time. So you're eating like maybe one o'clock. You guys start eating like at one o'clock. One, or, yeah, yeah, give or take. So you're eating that food all yeah. day long. And you're just chilling, watching movies, playing games with the whole family, like, and just eating and eating and eating, and it's just a good time, like, like your typical um, watching home movies that you guys made, like, you know, like the video tape yeah. movies. We used to watch those sometimes on Thanksgiving. Like, it was just a good ass time, and everyone was good in good mood because you're eating good food. Okay. So it was just a good time. Is it kind of like your typical, you know, I it, like your typical, I don't mean to be like rude, but like your typical white Thanksgiving in a sense. Your typical, I guess. I, I don't mean, know what a typical white Thanksgiving looks like. Well, I mean, like, because like, I've never been. Well, I guess I've like, seen you know, your guys' up. and it doesn't seem very typical to me. Right. But I'm mm-hmm. saying like, what I mean by like typical is like growing up, like when you watch like movies like the movies yeah you know like there's a whole bunch of kids running around everyone's arguing yeah like that crazy type vibe kind of like a home alone type vibe right is what was your favorite food like if you could like your favorite because i mean you named a lot like a lot of well like i said the pie is the best my cherry delight i love that dessert i need food you gotta give me food what was your favorite plate that you your thanksgiving staple plate mashed potatoes and mac and cheese dude those are sides. Those are sides, but I love sides. So, okay, I don't so like like do meat they, like you, that. You, I like sides. Do you do turkey? You like turkey? They would do turkey. I don't like turkey though. It's too dry. So when you were small, you wouldn't even like it. I guess I would like the. They would do lamb chops. They were they were pretty fire. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, obviously you know, but I I I never had like a that type of. Well, I mean, not that that type of Thanksgiving like gathering, but I mean like. I've never had that turkey type of like. You never had turkey before. I've had turkey. Thanksgiving was like it was an amazing time. Honestly, like it was just such a good feel good time, right? You're rolling into Christmas. Everyone starts getting happy. Yeah, you have the best food. You only make it like once or twice a year, which is Thanksgiving and maybe Christmas or kind of the same food, right? Right. Um. And yeah, everyone's just running around, arguments, like a Home Alone type vibe. If you ever seen Home Alone, so it's like a, that. it's like a very happy memory mm-hmm. in 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 your childhood growing up. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, like, is that is that fair to say? Yes, definitely. You know, to, it's, it's funny because for me, like, some of the food that you've mentioned is like we're so. It's just so different as far as like the food goes. Oh, I know. You know what I mean? And I'll I let know. you share it in a little bit as far <laughs> as like what's your experience. But it's, it's just so different. Like I obviously, growing up, obviously you see movies of Thanksgiving and you have like the big turkey, right? Like the huge like full turkey. 
and all the sides and everybody sitting in like mm-hmm. one big table. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like and the I kids' can- tables on the side. Yeah, <laughs> that's mm-hmm. white right there. But <laughs> you, you, so that's how you I envisioned obviously like Thanksgiving growing up that those type of movies or whatever that would show it that way or whatever. And it's like I be honest with you, and you would know that you would know by now because we've been together for ten years. My family's never made. A, a an actual turkey. Have you ever had turkey? Like turkey besides the deli turkey? Not like that. No. no. Like that's crazy, right? I'm like 30 something years old and I've never had like turkey. No one does it in my family. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And as I got older, I I think our neighbor Mike, my neighbor Mike, my best friend, I think they might have done it at some point. But it just as I got older, it just kind of grossed me out. You know what I mean? Like the I'm, turkey or just, well, just seeing the turkey with the legs and no head and you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of I'm I'm not I'm weird. Like so, if but, I, but you eat ro- rotisserie chicken. I'm kind of weird with that too. I prefer not to see the legs and the breast, and I prefer not to see the chicken without a head like this. You know what I mean? Like like the full body of it. I prefer words. not to. Yeah. Got so you. I just I, as I got older, I kind of got grossed out. But we never had you know our foods were different. Mm. You know it's still similar like. It's not. The gathering, I mean, well, wait, I'll, let you, <laughs> I'll let you get in there, but like the gathering aspect, right? Just like everyone growing, getting together, yeah, in other words. Yes, I think for you, you see how we gather now, like my family, different. Because me growing up, we, we would go to one of my aunt's house, mm-hmm. and it was all the aunts and my uncles and my cousins. So it was a big gathering. Now, we didn't sit in the same table, and it was typically, you know, at late at night when it would get started. But we, for me, it was also a good memory growing mm-hmm. up because it was when all the cousins would get together. Maybe I'll sleep. My mom will let me sleep over or whatnot. And as you start kind of getting older, it's a little bit more fun because you start, you know, being a troublemaker, doing things or whatnot. But um, it's just interesting to kind of like. So, see what are the, the different- foods that you guys would cook? I mean, obviously, I know. Yeah. But what what would you say that you as a staple you, for? Isn't it like there's a staple for Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, hundred percent, a hundred percent. You gotta have, like for me. So I don't I I, I don't want to get this like misconstrued because there is other Hispanic families that do like I know of do have a traditional Thanksgiving. Oh, well, you know of what course, I mean? Like yeah. turkey and they dress up all nice and all that stuff. That's not necessarily like and your my church side. outfits. Yeah. Yeah, it's not necessarily my side, but for us it was the staples for sure was like your tamales, you know, that my mom will make. She'll get up early, go to La Mapola, get some, you know, get some of the masa. I call it clay, but the masa. <laughs> yeah. And, and get the get the masa and, you know, do tamales, uh, pozole. You have the um, buñuelos, which is a, that sweet kind of looking tortilla thing or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So those are the staples of like for us growing up. Do you have still. a specific memory from Thanksgiving that like, like just like for instance, like you asked me that like food that you just yeah. always wanted every year or something that you looked forward to aside from the gathering? Now, mm-hmm. like right now, currently? Well, just period, like. Just growing up. Growing up, it was hanging out with the cousins. Just hanging that out was with your it. cousins. Like, yeah, like it, it's still part of the gathering. But for us, it was just so fun because um, we would go to a, a, one of my aunt's house, the one that had the big house, and all the cous- all my cousins were around the same age. So it was like tag, playing tag. You know, those were like the, the memories that I have, playing tag or playing wrestling, you know, little things like that. That mm-hmm. was that's what was so fun about it, and staying up late. Yeah, you know, because we were able to stay up late, and maybe spend the night or whatnot. So that you was kind of like for me. But I guess to like transition to like how different for you, like your experience coming from another part of the country and then coming to South Central LA. I know. If you could remember, like South Central LA, this white girl, and to you, how was what what was the culture shock for you that you saw like that we did differently for Thanksgiving? Well, first of all, I hate that it's not even cold. Like it's not it's even not. like it doesn't even feel like Thanksgiving. Not in like, LA. Like it doesn't feel like it at all. So that sucks. So that takes the I guess the season out of it, right? And then just like I don't know, I feel like maybe tamales are hard to make, but 
Everyone sells them on the side of the cor- the road. Listen, like on the hold street. on. Let me stop you for a I'm second. I'm not gonna bash them. Let me but stop it's you like, for a I second. I don't feel like for me. There she go. <laughs> for me, my experience is like. <laughs> I don't want tamales for Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. Me, hold on. Let me stop you. Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. I'm blinking my eyes, telling the cameraman back there, like, hold on. Don't cancel us now. You, you got to watch out what you're saying oh, here, girl. I love tamales. Don't get me wrong. But for Thanksgiving, just growing up, because like I said, we got things that you didn't but, really get on a normal right, basis. But, okay, right? But, okay. But you, uh, hold on. But I don't understand that statement. Like, it's not like you have tamales. All the time. They're sold on every side of the road. And yes, you don't when buy we, them? I don't anymore because I'm tamale out. <laughs> I'm fucking tamale out. How I know are... I'm going to get them on Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm tamale out. So I will save them for that once time a year because that's the thing. I feel like something, something for Thanksgiving and Christmas should be like cooked specifically on nice, great occasions, right? For us, when I first moved out here, we lived in South Central. There was a tamale man on every every single corner. You have a point there. Every single corner. So I got a b- bunch of tamales. Every morning, we would get champarado and tamales. She got a point there. <laughs> so, And then I'm going to have it on Thanksgiving and Christmas. You have them on Christmas, too. <laughs> so I was like, what the heck? I get this all the time. See, but it's different because they, they're not from my mom okay so that's the special part about it my mom makes these tamales so to me they just they hit different for you they hit different for you for me, everyone's for me. mother's food hits differently yes, yes. but for me it, they don't hit differently i'm sorry i, get, I mean i get what you say so you would say the you would say the food yeah, just, big boy that's because you were used to the lamb chops i don't even think i've yeah, I've had lamb chops, but you're used to the lamb chops. You're used well, to... Well, no, just not, just period. Like, Thanksgiving and Christmas is, like, reserved for special occasion food, right? So what would you do? Like, if you were to tell, if you were to come into my house on Thanksgiving... What do I do for Christmas every year? Do I not get down on Christmas usually? Tell me. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Okay, so you would do something like that. A which full is feast, like a full mm. feast, like not just tamales and a soup, because that's like appetizer food okay. to me. It's a trip because it's like obviously we're from different parts of the uh, of the world, I guess we could say, and it's like how different like you see things. Like to me, I'm okay with what I have for Thanksgiving. I'm you know okay what I mean? with it too, but give me something more. And like that's the start. I feel like tamales and um, pozole you know what, could be the start, like an appetizer, right? Yeah. But give me a full feast afterwards, you bro. You want some like, like smashed potatoes? Give me a full spread. I need, I need uh, asparagus. I need Brussels sprouts. I need mash. I need biscuits. I need gravy. I need chicken. I'll even take a turkey at this point, bro. <laughs> like, She's white. I'll take something. You need a white man in your <laughs> life, girl, because you ain't gonna get that so with like, us. But I hear what you say. So I that hear- was a huge culture shock because it was the like, food. oh. We have pozole and tamales, and I'm like, oh, is there anything else? No, no, no. <laughs> we have um, I got the hungry. fried. Um, the fried what? What are those little sweet things? It's like a tostada almost, yeah, but they were like Yeah, you're talking the, about buñuelo. Buñuelo, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, buñuelo. And that and with the champarado, and that that's what we call it. And then, to even the gathering now is like, obviously, growing up, it's probably different because it was yeah. bigger. <laughs> But it's kind of depressing. <laughs> Why you say that? It's just like we're just kind of sitting around. They're not talking too much. Like I just remember playing games with my family. Even cards we would get out. Like even cards. Like no yeah. one even gets out cards. There's not that many kids. So kids usually bring the happiness, right, right? Right, right? So there's not that many kids. So we're just all sitting around. We eat and there's, you know, minimal talking. So, you know, some people are drinking, but it's like. It's kind of stale, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Well, so. look, look. To be fair, because you guys are probably hearing this negative no, from no, no, her. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, like, but what it's I'm saying stale is like, compared to yeah, what like, I grew up with. I, what she's trying to say is like, when we get together, it's pretty like a basic, you know. Like we really, at least from my side of my family, we really don't. It's not. It's nothing exciting, you know what I mean? Like we go, we hang out in the backyard at nighttime, we eat some pozole, late, yeah. some tamales, and we have drinks, and we just kind of sit around. There's no. Um, activities going on. Obviously, now we have kids, so now we have some like light coming in as they get older. It'll probably get a little bit more fun, I guess. But I hear what you're kind of, you know, stating. Yeah, just a little stale. 
I know. But it's nice though to get get over with get together with. I everyone. think yeah, that's the important part. I think is yeah. the thankfulness of like trying to find when you know what you're thankful about. And to me, I because I, I know it is. It is like we just kind of sit around. We don't yeah. do nothing. I put on clothes. We just kind of go. We sit in the back and stuff. But to me, I kind of see it as you know we're we're having time with our families. Yeah, right? no, it's nice to so see that's everyone like have the, the gathering. I guess that's kind of like the plus. And I, to me, I, I feel like from for sure as my kids get older, if we have more kids, I would want it to be more vibrant with the with with the gatherings. This you know man what I mean? said, if we have more kids, <laughs> well, I could have sworn we said we were done with kids. Like, what you the just, hell? Hey, you keep swinging you ne- these freaking shots ne- at me, you bro. You just never know, man. I, I'm not shooting blanks, so <laughs> you just never know. Maybe this Thanksgiving I come in a little woozy <laughs> and something gets down. But not <laughs> happening. So, 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 you would, yeah. so you would say is that? Yeah, it's just kind of, it's, yeah. It's, it's not alive. And like I said, even the food is kind of like. Well, it's because I think you're used not to. Alive. You're used to having that traditional Thanksgiving gathering, and we don't necessarily. It's true. We my family doesn't necessarily have that. Yeah. You know? If you were to host Thanksgiving, what would you do? Oh my god, me. Um, like, what would you do differently instead of just sitting around? For sure, you, you know, even I'll, food, even so, food so, wise. So, so for me, for sure, for sure, whether it's inside or in the back, it's gonna happen as it, when I get older or when my kids get older, whatever, or I start hosting things. For sure, I would do more. I would definitely have music playing. Right? There'll be food wise. We'll have tamales. We'll have pozole. We'll have you know. You'll have like your traditional kind of food. I don't know about me. I guess maybe turkey, but I'm not too fond on turkey like that. Like I could care for less. I don't for the really turkey. care for turkey. But I, I, I want to have good, good, solid food. You don't care for turkey. Yeah, I don't necessarily care for the turkey, but definitely more food. Um, I would invite more people to kind of have like an ambient. You know what I mean? Like, cause I feel like from right now my family is kind of small, so it's just like. Four of us, like you, But me. everyone spends Thanksgiving with their family, so who else would you invite? You got a point there. Mm-hmm. You definitely got a point there. So <laughs> scratch that. Uh, it would be the food. It would be the music. It will be the drinks. Um, I'll, I got to work on my family and get more kids involved. So I got to get more kids going just so, you know, just to have kids. But um, I think just activities and stuff like that, kind of get the family going, maybe some games, you know. Do little, like, giveaways and stuff like that. You know, mm-hmm. like, just make it fun. Yeah. Do little, like, you know, like when pregnant people, pregnant people, pregnant ladies get pregnant. They you have, have the baby like, shower. The, the baby shower. Those days. I'll probably do something like that. Yeah. What would you inject? Yeah, definitely better food. <laughs> definitely. I don't care really for the drinks. So we can have music. I'll do a piñata. Can you get off your phone? I'm sorry. I'll do a piñata. Definitely, like, something for the kids. They're going to have a kid table, and they're going to have their own damn game sitting right there like I usually do if I have a gathering. You know, I make sure that the kids are fully entertained, you know, a whole kid's table of, I don't know, slime or something, like Thanksgiving-themed or whatever the case is. Um, Drunk, boozy games for the the family. Yeah, Yeah. definitely. Connect Four. They have, like, these Jumbo Connect Fours, Jenga. A pinata, it'll be funny as hell once we're all drunk. Yeah, and do a pinata. you know, like I just feel like you gotta like <laughs> for you the gotta, adults. You gotta take things exactly. You gotta take Thanksgiving as one of those days where like you make the most of it. Yeah, have fun. You wanna look forward to it. It's a once right. in a year thing I that th- you do, yeah. and I wanna look forward it's to it. Like yeah. it's a birthday party type thing, you know, and treat it as such. I think as so, as, yeah. as our kids get older, um, we'll definitely do that. But as we're transitioning from this, um, we wanna. We want to answer some questions. That's what I was pulling out. We want to answer oh. um, some questions as far as like relationships. So we're doing this. So if you're still here watching this, you know, uh, podcast, if you have any relationship questions uh, that you will love our opinion to give our opinion in. What? So if you have any relationship questions that Dilemmas. you need advice on. Or just questions in general that you want to ask us. Do we yeah. want just ad- relationship advice? Yeah, I think relationship so. Relationship advice? Yeah, because it's like a man and a female. So it's like, okay. how can we give so you... So if you guys want advice from, you know, maybe a f- 
female or male perspective that have been together for 10 years and that have been going through it okay we've gone no through the mud and then some okay i'm in so, therapy right now <laughs> so if you guys want some outside perspective shoot them to us we would love to help you guys if you need it definitely you know just so the first question we're here baby. for you <laughs> you're rambling now i'm sorry we're here for you but the first I'm question not rambling so the first question Oh, we have a question to ask? Yes, of course. That's what we're getting into, oh. man. We're not, you so know. So we got questions already. Yes, that's what I was trying to say, but you just kind of went on and I just let you be. My bad, so. bro. We got questions already, okay? So we about to answer them. Yeah, so it's, it, it goes along. First one here. <laughs> let me hear it. What's the question? So it goes along with this theme as we're talking about Thanksgiving Day. Um, Someone asked, and we will keep it anonymous because we don't want to put out the person's name or information um, is completely private. So if you have any questions or dilemmas that are you're currently going through and will love our advice, send them over. But the first one we have is from a young lady. So she sends she sent me a, a DM, right? And she asked, when do you know it's the right time to bring I'm, the guy that I'm dating to my family's gathering? Thanksgiving is coming up. Right. And all my family gets together. And um, I've been talking to this guy for about two months now. And um, I want to take him because I spent a lot of time with him. But I just don't know if it's the right time. I have never introduced a guy to my family. Mm. So this young lady has never brought a guy over this is her first, she feels at two months, her first serious, you know, relationship. And she just doesn't know when is the right time to bring a person and meet the rest of the, the whole family. Because Thanksgiving, I'm assuming her whole family. God, that's a there. big deal, Thanksgiving. Um, what do you, what do you say? I wouldn't say right now because you if wouldn't? you're only dating them for two months. No, because that's the thing, like. Once the family meets them, that's another relationship that once the family meets them, right? That's another relationship that you're opening to them, right? It's yeah. not just you and his relationship, right? Two months in, that's that's not, I mean, it is, I guess it's serious to a certain extent, yeah. but it's not that lengthy of a relationship where you know that person and you know it's going to be a solid foundation, right? You know that by next week, he's gonna not be there you don't know that by next week something might happen two months is very like rocky terms for me still like you're still navigating the relationship so to bring another family or if you have kids or anything like that i want to suggest it because you're opening them to that other relationship and then next week they might be gone and then you got your family asking like what happened to so-and-so and then it's just like a stab in the heart dude like it's a hard thing. And then if they're around even more than just like the Thanksgiving and you keep allowing them around, you know, your family and you break it off, that relationship has a breakup too. That's the way I see it. It's hard. I, so I, I think you saying, have to go through things and be in a serious relationship. I don't know how, I wouldn't describe length, maybe a little longer than two months, maybe six months, but just... But what if on you, a serious note, like. But what if, like, she feels is this? It's the guy. What if, like, you know, they probably see each other every day. What if she feels this is two the months? one? That's that's eight weeks. So you wouldn't do it. No. You wouldn't do it. So mm -hmm. you're basically saying you wouldn't do it because it's just a short period of time with this individual, despite if she feels this guy's the one, right? Despite if. She's all in. Yeah, with this she individual. could be all in, but I mean, how do you know if so, he so you, really so when is one hundred percent? I don't know. I would go through some stuff first. Like, okay, so you're saying like you have to go through a few bumps in the road before you. I just want. I'm. I'm just curious. Like, so when do you? When? When? Like, just when? to know that you guys are both serious. You know what I mean? That he's just not. That he's on in this relationship as well. Like his head is in this relationship, not elsewhere. Because I feel like guys grow up very slowly, right? Right. 
So it's very hard to know when you guys are serious. Like in the beginning, y'all are mad serious and mad dedicated, but it goes downhill after after a while. Like I feel like once you guys win the prize, that's <laughs> it, dude. <laughs> y'all are done trying to like, you know, win us over. So okay, so so tell the young lady. <laughs> I mean, I'm I hearing what you're saying. I wouldn't but you suggest wouldn't do right it yet. away. I would go through some, get some tests in your relationship first. You wouldn't take them this Thursday? No, not the whole family. Maybe like, no, not the whole family. No? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even take him to meet your mom right now. I would wait at least you six months. Even, you wouldn't even introduce her to, introduce the guy to the mom? No, I would wait six months at least. Six Me months? personally. At least. It just depends on the relationship and how serious the guy is. You know what I mean? I just feel like you got to have some tests in your relationship first. What about you? What would you say? I don't know. I'm kind of like torn because it's like... To, the young lady looks young, right? She looks like she's 23 maybe. She didn't tell me her age. I don't know her age. Um, so she looks young, so I don't know, like, I'm assuming this guy is probably around that age. So I kind of hear what you're saying as far as, like, not knowing his intentions yet at two months, right? Like, going through things, you have to kind of, like, go through a few speed bumps with this individual before actually bringing him, you know, around. That's a huge and commitment. It is a huge commitment. And I guess for me, because I did do things weirdly, like I never introduced anyone to um, my mom or whatnot. Here, bring it. Like I never introduced anyone to my mom. And it, my mom met maybe like two, three girls um, in my relationship. But I just kind of feel like... I want to sit there and say like, yeah, wait, and and yeah, I I, I kind of agree with you to some to some extent. Like I I I if I was to give this girl an opinion, or my opinion is if you're in doubt about like not sure if you want to introduce them to the family, maybe you shouldn't not this Thanksgiving, right? Like you probably shouldn't or this Christmas because you're already kind of in doubt. I think what I would do is I would like slowly integrate them like obviously try to figure out how serious this relationship is you know what i mean because we don't know how serious it is they're probably kind of like dating she's probably talking to other girls like is it has this she guy told you she has this guy told you i'm all in with you i'm not looking even for if they anyone tell else. you that you need to i mean but you got to figure that out first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that you just need to figure out the relationship. Cause two months is very, like, right. it's such a short amount of time. Yes, I like, hear you. get some time under your belt, get some experience what? under your belt, and then you can kind of feel out that person and judge them. Well, I just kind of feel the way you're talking, get some experience under your, like, I don't even know if she would understand what that means, but... I get some experience, like go through some stuff. Just be together. Like, like, what would be going through some stuff? Because I, I just, just, I just being don't understand together it. a little longer, experiencing them and how they are in certain situations, whether how they act when they're mad, how they act if they're tempted by someone, how they act around their boys. That's what I mean. Get so, some experience. Okay. So like, what you're saying is like go through these things with them so you know if he's the one. I mean, not necessarily the one, but someone that you want to be serious with, like that you want to introduce. Someone your, that's worthy of, you know, me introducing your family, your family to because that's a that's a hard blow to take back once they're not in the picture anymore. It is because that's a relationship that you're not only losing yourself, you're losing that relationship. If they do get close to your family, what if they're yeah. best friends with your pops? Oh. And your pops is over there asking about him. I know. Like, that's, that's a hard, hard. relationship. Yeah. Like, that they is. lose that relationship. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, so we are on board with saying, like, when it comes to meeting the family, for us, it is a big thing, right? Like, you have to be sure that this guy, maybe he's not the guy you're going to marry, but he is the guy that is going to respect you, that's not going to make you look dumb. Because the last thing you want to do is introduce this individual to your family. And even more so, this is the first person you're introducing to your family, like the first, like, boyfriend you're you want introducing a good experience. to. You want, yeah, you want a good experience. You want someone that it's not going to embarrass you. It's not going to make you look dumb. 
And I guess kind of with what you're saying, and I'm aligned with that, you do have to find out what are this, what is the intentions of this guy? Is he all in with you? Is he trying to build something with you? And you're not going to know within two months. You're just not. You're going to need a little bit more time. And even what you're saying, you have to go through some experiences as far as, you know, just life together. Life <laughs> it, 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 it is this guy because it's different. Like two months is just so soon. Yeah, you guys know. really haven't seen each other's friends like that. You haven't seen him when he's mad. You haven't seen right. him we like sh- when yeah. he's sad. You don't know him fully yet. You don't. So that's what I mean. Get experience. Like learn who that person is. Because you, I would. Yeah. I'm still even learning you. I'm still even learning you till this day. It's like what? And I'm sure you say the same thing about me. Like. You're yeah. learning something new about your partner every yeah. day. It doesn't matter how many years you've been together with them. You got to wait till next year. <laughs> next just year. wait till next year. If he's yeah. still around next wait year, till next year. Thanks then invite him. But yes, you got to, you got you just got to know. I think once you know, you know, but you do got to like find out the intentions of this person, get to know him just a little bit more because I, it is, and it, I hate to throw my sister's business out there, but it is, it is, heartbreaking when you introduce someone to the family or you meet his family and kind of like what you were saying you you get involved right like now they know you they you they know have a relationship ex- with you, you have a relate now you became friends with that guy's sister and then it just doesn't you know he makes you look dumb and then now you just kind of feel dumb yeah so yeah don't do it this thanksgiving girl just, just wait a little longer. Or Christmas. Or Christmas, yeah. But you know what? If you, have shit, if you feel like it's time, just don't, you know, we're just giving you our opinion. But I get what you're saying. Yes, from <laughs> our experience. From my experience, don't do it. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's kind of wild for us to be telling someone when you flew on an airplane and we never met in person. Yeah, and that's it, what I'm saying. From my experience, don't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Damn. <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm he her. has your phone, dude. <laughs> oh, he has my phone. <laughs> I'm messing so, with you, dude. Don't take it seriously. We're at 41st. Let's Let's just one more. You got time for one more or should we shut down? One more question? Yeah, or should we shut down? Um, What's up to you? So, one more question. Let's go. So, um, we have another question, I guess, that we're going to ask. We, we do. So, and, and we'll try to do it quick because we're at 45. Um, how do you feel about taking. How did, how did she. I, I'm trying to remember how she wrote it. Here it is. Me. So, me and my baby daddy are not together anymore. We haven't been together for quite some time. He's never, not really involved. With the kids, there's two kids involved in this scenario, and um, she kind of started talking to this guy again. The baby daddy. The baby daddy. The family doesn't know that she started talking to baby daddy again because I guess baby daddy was not in the picture. Thanksgiving's around the corner, and she's thinking about bringing him to Thanksgiving. How do you feel about that? I guess. Should she? She also said, you know, I kind of want to take him because I want to give my kids that experience of having the dad around for Thanksgiving to make them feel happy. But I'm torn because I just know my mom and the rest of my family is going to talk shit. I don't even know how to tell them that I'm kind of talking to him again. (sighs) That's a hard one. I wouldn't do it. Nah. Like, you got to prepare your family. But. Yeah, I would do it around Christmas if you guys are still talking. (laughs) Honestly. I wait on it and I'm just like, I wouldn't. You wouldn't do it at all? No. Not even. I mean. If you want to do something with the kids and your baby daddy, then just do it the next day or whatnot to have a little Thanksgiving, little outing or gathering or whatever. I want to do it, me personally. I just I'll think- wait till Christmas. I would in I would interject 
you know, the fact that you're talking to your baby daddy now yeah. again to smooth the the transition in there because it's gonna be a rough pill to swallow I just, yeah, on Thanksgiving I, Day. Yeah. Like it's and a especially bomb. if you have a big family and you guys are all gathering, you're gonna just be everyone's gonna be like roasting you, talking shit if they're that family, you know what I mean? Right. Or like, why are you still talking to him? Da da da. Like he might even get, you know, a uh, a bullet too there yeah. in person. So you don't know I how just, that's gonna happen. I just kind of feel that this person owes it to her family to not drop a bomb on Thanksgiving. That's like a, it's it'll be a big shock mm-hmm. for people, and and I don't know if that's right. You it know, might not be an enjoyable, depending on the situation well, with your debt with your baby daddy, well, right? Like make, it might make things awkward. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, it might be like, um, what is it? Not the best memorable moment that you want to share with your family on Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving should be light. Fun. But what about the kids? Know? The kids don't know any better. The kids don't. So but that's why you know, for Christmas or do something else with your baby daddy the next day. Because yeah. that's the thing. Like kids feel stuff. They feel that emotion. So if you guys and your family is over there like talking shit or arguing, like it's not gonna be the best moment for the kids either. If it's like a weird hostile situation at Thanksgiving, if they really don't mess with your baby daddy, obviously I don't know the circumstances. But unless, I don't know, I wouldn't, wouldn't do, do it. it. Yeah. I wouldn't because just from my experience, if it was something for my family, I know it would just be, it would be wild. See, so. my thing is, like, <laughs> I think it just would have been different to me if she would have like told the family, yeah, like, hey, slowly. I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of bringing so-and-so to Thanksgiving mm-hmm. dinner, right? Opposed to like. This poor girl's so scared to tell the mom because the guy wasn't really involved in her family, right? With the kids. The kids are 9 and 10. Oh, yeah. Or 11, something like that. And the the dad wasn't involved at all. And you just started talking to the guy again, Mm -hmm. right? You just started talking to the guy again. You're thinking about bringing him like the grandma. I would do for Christmas, mama. (laughs) Christmas is good. Just start integrating the fact that you're talking to him. Maybe have the fam, like your mom see him again before Christmas. (laughs) Set some just boundaries. Slowly, yeah, just slowly integrate that into the family. So hopefully your Christmas could be amazing with your, you know, children's father and your kids and your big family. Like that sounds like an amazing, yeah, you know, time. Yeah, just hold on. I would hold on to it. Yeah, just integrate like, it slowly. Not like that. Don't make it, you know, not like that. But anyways, with that being said, <laughs> um, we're... We're learning as we're going. Those are two questions that we would love to do more, and we will get better at it. Yes. And um, shoot yeah. them our way if you have any more. Or if Maybe you we could. Ask you know what? We could questions. do some stuff. We could do some live calling. Mm. That would be cool. I don't know like, how we would do that, but yeah. Me neither. But I've like they could call a specific number. We answer the telephone call. The lady tells us what's going on. That's and cool. It, that would be cool. Huh? Like the radio. Yeah, that'd like be the cool. radio. That is cool. Hey, but with that being said, this is Thanksgiving and this is a Thanksgiving special. We hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving day. We are eternally grateful for you guys. I will say it again. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are, I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving with good food. Good Good food. food. And don't forget the movie that I'm coming in. How the Gringo Stole Christmas comes out December 1st on Friday. By the time you're watching this, it will be next week. Yeah. We need all the support to show the world that us Latinos could also make movies. And please, I have please. nothing else to say. Thank you, guys. Just make sure you guys go and watch that. Subscribe, like, and share our channel, please. Um, yeah, that's it. Happy Thanksgiving. I love we end you guys. It? Don't get married with Cisco Kid. Kina, bye guys. <laughs> Why did I say bye like that? Bye, <laughs> bye, bye.